Hi, I'm Conscious Arts uh, promoter Robrenda and I'm with Juta. Uh, here uh, we are at the KL Benali 2017 and, and Juta has got three big pieces in this whole exhibition uh, which is an honour to one of the pioneers of Malaysia, artists. So tell us about how you about your how you got in here and about a painting later. How I got in. How yeah. you got in here? You want to first? Uh, just now we no, did an interview. Exactly. They they selected me to have these three pieces displayed here. So I'm here now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> exhibiting my three works. Okay, but you you uh, National Art Gallery promoted you as uh, one of the pioneer artists uh, when I was talking with. Really. Yeah, you in the interview. You you try to be humble, too humble right now. Yeah. So uh, so what's all, what's this series? What's this series? This is uh, the universe in harmony. Universe in harmony. So did you purposely cut in half, or you painted it? It's two pieces to join together. To join together. Yeah. Okay. This is core. Cosmic dance. Cosmic dance. When do you paint this? It took me nearly about three years to complete three this. Three years and all, all these three pieces. Yeah. Oh, over three years. Yeah. All the around all the same three time. Three pieces. Shall we go to the next one? This one. This is also called atomic dance. Cosmic dance. Atomic dance. It is different. For which time period were you? Uh, were you doing this? Uh, random. It's not fixed. Not fixed. But you finally completed it in which year? This year. Oh, this year. Okay. This year. Okay. Wow. This is a bit different from that one. And the other third one? This is the Atomic Harmony. I must say it's very unique. Uh, it's only you, you're the only one that does this. So this is your signature piece. Yeah, uh, that's why I don't sign my pieces. Yeah. So where's your signature? Let's see your signature. There's no signature. Why didn't you put a signature? Because when they look at the work, they know this is my work. Really? Most people will put a signature. So what's the philosophy of not putting your signature in there? Maybe I don't own it. <laughs> huh? I don't own it. It's interesting. Uh, uh, some artists think they own the painting or yeah. they feel it belongs to them. I'm guessing. You have a philosophy. You yeah, I'm guessing. This, this art is for others. Yes. Let me tell yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. It's not for me to enjoy, it's for others to enjoy. Others enjoy. Okay. So, uh, we are also doing this uh, Purple Army Youth where we get uh, veterans like Juta to help to inspire the young artists of today uh, and the youths of today so that they can be productive uh, role models, contributors and change agents. So uh, rather than wasting their life or involving drugs and, and, and addiction and, and, and sexual harassment, so this is a good way to express, uh, express themselves. So you have uh, you have taught a lot of uh, students uh, yes. for many, many years. So is that one of your biggest joys and why? In fact, it's the biggest joy because, uh, I don't know, I really feel happy working with young young minds and it has given me a lot of satisfaction. So did and they come back after years? And in fact, right now I'm having, a, I'm teaching in two international schools. So I have an estimate about six to 700 students with me. And they and your students come back and, and say hi to you and after after not only they say hi my ex students uh, children are now with me in my yes. private art classes so that is a testimony yeah, to testimony. the great man himself yes. Juta uh, also known as the Tangaraj for some people but uh, he's now known as Juta the consciousness uh, artist and this is this is the atomic harmony the atomic what that? Atomic cosmic dance. cosmic dance and the atomic dance. So okay, this is the KL Binali 2017 from Robrenda.